If it floods during an average summer storm, you can imagine what Helene may bring. That is the fear for many across the Bay Area, including parts of Polk County. News Channel 8's Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva is live at Country Club Estates near Imperial Lakes in Mulberry. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. The outer bands have certainly arrived, and I gotta say, rain is not something that people here love to see. That's because this is one place that they say turns into a small body of water after a heavy rainstorm, never mind a hurricane. They say that earlier this month it took about two weeks to recede just from, again, an average storm. They say this 50 year old neighborhood just does not drain. The water will come up to about here so far. That, Judy Swem says, is during a particularly wet summer storm. I mean, what they're talking about, it could be a lot worse. Swem has sandbags along the exterior of her home all summer, but ahead of Hurricane Helene, she is reinforcing the barrier. Swem lives in Country Club Estates off of Imperial Lakes Boulevard in Mulberry. It is a neighborhood with established drainage issues that cause flooding. Swem estimates her property has flooded four or five times this summer alone. It's a danger to our seniors and our families with young children. If somebody gets into an emergency situation, being able to get down 12 to 18 inches of water is ridiculous. Aid on your side reached out to road and drainage officials with the county who say a $9 million construction project is set to begin in the new year to improve drainage issues in the Imperial Lakes Boulevard and Country Club Estates areas. Project management liaison Bill Skelton writes, quote, the work includes constructing two retention ponds, new and larger reinforced concrete stormwater pipes, drainage structures, curb and gutter and related roadway upgrades. So as for right now with Helene, the message from emergency officials here in Polk County is to take this storm seriously, monitor it closely, even if you're inland, inland flooding is still a serious threat. Reporting live in Polk County, I'm Stacey DeSilva, 8 on your side.